So my last two videos have talked about the four fats that I generally recommend to anyone on a healthy diet, trying to lose weight and eating healthy fats in the low carb diet. And they are butter, avocado oil, coconut oil, and olive oil. And um, I was corrected on the olive oil. So I say I typically don't cook with it, that at higher temperatures, it's not quite that stable. I did a lot of reading on this and actually you can cook with olive oil. You know, the literature doesn't seem to show that there is a big risk of, of cooking with it, that anything bad happens. So you can, um, again, always look at the smoke point. For olive oil, it's like 325 to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. However, in your pan and when you're cooking, you know, you don't easily get to that. You would have to measure this with a thermometer and all that. The point is usually when things start to smoke, when you see like a darker smoke rising up, turn the heat down. I mean, that's just too hot, you know. So you can cook with it. Also, of course, avocado oil, and this was pointed out to me as well, is quite expensive. And I agree with that. I think it's an excellent oil. And um, so when you cook with it, you know, once in a while, I would, I would definitely use that. I think it's an excellent oil to consume. Um, but it costs a bit more, which brings me to ghee. So somebody else said, well, you talk about butter and that's great, but what about ghee? And I've bought ghee before, but I tell you, at least in my experience, ghee is more expensive. What is ghee? Ghee essentially is clarified butter. What does that mean? They just basically um, take all these solids that are still in the butter, you know, the casein and the lactose remnants that are still in there and just have the pure uh, fat. And that is giving you a few advantages. One, I mean, you don't have the lactose, which we don't really like, that's a milk sugar. However, there's very small amounts in there, I must say. And then, you know, the casein, some of the proteins. So if you have uh, an allergy or incompatibility to, to lactose or other ingredients in dairy, then ghee might give you an advantage because it's just, you know, they, they took it out essentially. Um, does it make a big difference? I really don't think so. When you look at a stick of butter or when you read the label on butter, it, it pretty much has no carbohydrates in it. If there was a very high amount, let's say, of lactose in there, we would see a higher carbohydrate content. Um, I think the amounts are fairly small um, and the price difference is fairly significant. If you buy butter, I recommend to get grass from, uh, butter from grass-fed cows because there is um, a high amount of vitamin K2, which is a very important vitamin, and butter is an excellent source of that. If you have the money for it, ghee is probably the better choice i personally go mostly stick with butter because it's cheaper easier and um you know but that's really absolutely everyone's personal choice i suppose both are absolutely fine i believe they're good they're good fats and then again as for the olive oil yes you can cook with it there's not really a big downside to it any oil uh, that you cook with you know whether it's coconut oil avocado oil uh, butter specifically is, is, is much on the lower side when it starts getting uh, to a smoky point, turn the heat down. So thank you for the corrections and I will see you next time.